Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one is going to be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching every single time. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. You can also check out the Scorpio uh, playlist linked in the description box if this doesn't resonate for you much okay so let's jump right in for scorpio messages guidance please for scorpio spirit what does scorpio need to know about this person that they're thinking about or connecting with at this time what do we need to know about scorpio The person that Scorpio is thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their thoughts, feelings towards Scorpio? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio? I just got nervous out of nowhere. Okay, we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. What are they thinking, feeling about Scorpio spirit? The Tower, my goodness. What are they thinking, feeling about Scorpio? Oh, Scorpio, what are they thinking, feeling? The world. Oh my god, three major arcanas. There's the nine of swords. That's probably why I've been feeling that nervous energy out of nowhere. Someone's anxious, afraid, nervous. And it's because there's something big taking place here, Scorpio. Um, your person's thinking about a tower. Endings, beginnings, possibly in a commitment. Taurus energy with the higher font here. So I don't know if this was a tower with you or if this tower happened in their own life. What else do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this person's energy? New beginnings, okay. Balancing act, juggling indecision balance. What else do we need to know about this person's energy? For Scorpio. Broken silence, honesty, courage, expression. Bottom of the deck closed off. So you could be dealing with someone, Scorpio, that hasn't been able to express themselves to you, possibly due to the fear Let's see. Tell me about the Hierophant spirit. Why is the Hierophant here? The Hangman. Okay. Why is the Hierophant? Why is the Hierophant here? Three of Pentacles. Why is the Hierophant here? Two of Swords. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Well, someone's undecided with the Two of Swords. Unsure. Blocked as well. Especially with the Hangman here. This could be a third party situation. There might be someone else involved. Could be a commitment. That's kind of the interference here. Get some clarity. So tell me about these energies, please. Scorpio. Ah, tell me about the three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Ten of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's another commitment here. Why is the two of swords here? Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. More fear, yeah. Tell me about the Hangman. The Devil, Capricorn Energy, and the Five of Cups. So there was some other situation here that I feel prevented your person from making a move here, Scorpio. Maybe they were stuck in an unhealthy attachment. Maybe they were 
restricted by obligations, responsibilities. There's the Eight of Swords again. So let's look at this tower. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the tower. I think this tower might have freed them, actually. There's justice, Libra energy. Love seeing justice with the tower. It's like things are gonna be okay. Tell me about the tower. Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like there was some sort of restriction that your person was dealing with, Scorpio, that this tower removed. Maybe this tower freed them. Maybe there was some sort of shocking, unexpected event or revelation that freed your person. And now they're able to have a new beginning, but the Two of Pentacles is here. They're unsure or undecided. And I feel it's because they're free to make a move, but are you open to, to this world? I'm guessing it's this world energy, this new beginning. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world spirit. Yeah, the fool. So this person is literally, the door has opened for them. A brand new opportunity, yeah, Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the world, please, Spirit. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Four of Swords. But I feel like this person, yeah, Seven of Cups. It's like they're not gonna take action. Oops, I keep hitting this tripod, it's driving me nuts. They're gonna they're not gonna take action, I feel, until they know for sure that they're gonna be able to make this happen, is what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, three of wands. So they're like waiting around before they open this door or get things officially started here. Maybe you haven't talked in a long time because I've closed off, broken silence. Maybe there's not a lot of communication between you. Spirit, what is this person's uh, energies here towards Scorpio? I have a lot on my plate. Okay, so they're dealing with a lot right now, possibly due to this tower. What else do we need to know about this person? This person's energies towards Scorpio. I miss you. And it's all my fault. Okay. Something happened in the past. I wish I could be with you bottom of the deck this is from my secret moon oracle if you're interested in um, any of the decks that i use they're linked in the description box so let's look at their um, intention scorpio because i feel like this person their intention is to have this new beginning but fear is an issue they're nervous about something anxious about something and i think it's because maybe they took too long to get this tower moving maybe a lot of time has passed maybe this tower was with you <laughs> And, but I get for most of you, this tower was a new beginning for them or is allowing a new beginning to take place. Tell me about this person's intentions. Tell me about this person's intentions, spirit, towards Scorpio. What are this person's intentions towards Scorpio? What are their, this person's intentions? Scorpio. Ten of Wands, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Page of Swords. So I think that they want to talk. Yeah, there's the Ace of Swords. That's probably why Broken Silence is here. Didn't you have a reading similar to this recently? Six of Pentacles. Okay. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. So they're working on this burden, obligation, baggage, whatever's weighing them down. They're putting in some effort here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Wow, Seven of Swords. They might be doing this behind someone's back or strategically. King of Cups, strategic moves. Yeah, this person, um, they're still working on this tower or the consequences, leftovers of this tower. So what a, the King of Wands is someone that takes action. So what's this King of Wands about? Okay, that is way too much. But I'm going to look at them and I'm going to put them back. Two of Cups, the Hangman, Five of Cups. 
There's that regret, Four of Wands, Strength, Leo energy, and the Lovers, Gemini energy. So I feel like this person, they've been thinking a lot about this connection, about the regrets from the past. I think it's motivating them to take some sort of action here, to be brave. Let's see. Tell me about this King of Wands. Spirit, why is the King of Wands here for Scorpio? Why is this King of Wands here? Queen of Wands, wow. We have a little pair here on the board. These two are bo uh, bold, fearless. They get what they want. There's that Two of Swords. See, I don't really like seeing Two of Swords with the King of Wands because I feel like it's like built up frustration. Like someone that knows exactly what they want to do, what actions they want to take, but feels blocked. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So I feel like there was a ton of swords here in a partnership. I don't know if this is with you or with another person. And it's preventing them from taking action here. I think instead of action, all they'll be able to do is communicate. Tell me about this page of swords. And if this is not communication, they could be observing you from afar. Death, Scorpio energy. There you are, Scorpio. There's the Empress. My goodness. Tell me about the page of swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? Wow, the Emperor and the Empress. Aries energy and the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wow, okay. So I think that they are going to be communicating with you about some sort of ending or change and about this divine partnership, divine um, connection that they have with you uh, because they clearly miss you, Scorpio. And they think of you as a pair. I mean, the Emperor and the Empress, for me, together, they're like the power couple. Can I get some more insight, please, for Scorpio? Huh. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. Four of Swords. Tell me about death. They might be able to tell you why they can't take action right now. And also break the silence here with you. Yeah, Two of Wands. There's a there's um options for them to take here. But it's like they don't want to choose a path until they talk to you. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. The chariot cancer energy yeah i feel like this person they know exactly what they want but i feel like it's it's almost like maybe they want you scorpio but they have to ask you for your permission first <laughs> tell me about the two of swords cancer energy with their there with the chariot the king of cups yeah this person i feel like first of all they might be moving from a certain location um leaving something behind here with this ten of swords that tower Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Spirit, tell me about this Ten of Swords, please. The High Priestess. Can I get one more, please? For this Ten of Swords. The Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is their, like desire wish is to be able to um make this move towards you again the ten of swords with the ace of cups i feel like there is an ending that's allowing a new beginning in love with the nine of cups here as well maybe this is someone's secret desire the high priestess but there's like a challenge here tell me about the seven of swords because they're working on something. Eight of Pentacles. They're working on this burden. It's going to take effort. It's going to take time. Ace of Wands. Ten of Swords again. And the Page of Swords. So they're going to tell you about this. I think that this person, um, they've been working behind the scenes to get something completely done or to fix something in their life or wrap something up. And the King of Cups showed up twice. So it's like they're doing this for love. They're going out. They're following their heart here. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. 
There's a Queen of Wands here. The Knight of Cups, yeah. They're coming forward. Ace of Cups is here. Wow, the Six of Cups behind that. So Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, you know. Uh, you are what they're working towards. They want to be with you. They have a lot on their plate. They haven't told you everything. I can tell you that right now. But I feel like this is also something that you need to be okay with or you need to also jump on board for this to move forward with them. And so it's like they don't want to make any more decisions after all of this is wrapped up. They don't want to make any more moves or decisions until they talk to you. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. If it did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.